here is a kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from combination of solids so let's get started problem using clay a student made a right circular cone of height 48 cm and base radius 12 cm another student reshapes it in the form of a sphere then find the radius of the sphere solution given a student made a right circular cone of height 48 cm and base radius 12 cm okay using clay okay using clay a student made a right circular cone whose vertex is exactly above the center of the circular base okay so we are given the height of the right circular cone is 48 cm height of the right circular cone is 48 cm right circular cone and the base radius is 12 cm base radius we are given r equals to 12 cm okay then and also given another student reshapes it in the form of a sphere another student reshapes cone in the form of a sphere which means that the one student makes a right circular cone using clay and another student reshapes it which means that destroys the cone and creates a sphere okay here we are asked to find the radius of the sphere we need to find r okay so here the cone firstly a student makes a cone with the help of clay or using clay afterwards the student the another student destroys the cone and makes a sphere and here we are asked to find the radius of the sphere which is created after destroying the cone okay so here the quantity of mud used to make a cone is destroyed and made a sphere right so here the quantity will not change quantity of clay quantity of clay will not change this is nothing but the volume will not change that is the volume will not change
or you can say the volume remains the same. So here, the volume created, sorry, the volume destroyed equals to the volume created, right? That is the volume of destroyed cone. That is volume of the cone is equals to the volume of thing created, sphere. Since we know that the volume of the cone is one by three pi r square h cubic units and The volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube cubic units. Okay. Then you can write this as the volume of the cone 1 by 3 pi r square h cubic units equals to the volume of the sphere. Volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube cubic units. Okay, so here you can cancel 1 by 3 or you could write it as 1 by 3 pi r square h cubic units equals to 1 by 3 into 4 pi r cube cubic units. So here you can cancel 1 by 3 and pi. This becomes r square h cubic units equals to 4 r cube cubic units. So here r represents the radius of a cone and h represents the height of the cone. Then substitute the values of r and h of cone 12 centimeter whole square into h 48 centimeter equals to no need to write cubic units here okay will automatically get in the computation for r cube So you can write it as 4 r cube equals to 12 centimeter whole square into 48 centimeter from this r cube equals to 12 centimeter whole cube can be written as 12 centimeter into 12 centimeter into 48 centimeter as it is 4 ones are 4 twos are 8 so this equals to 12 centimeter into 12 centimeter into 12 centimeter equals to 12 centimeter whole cube. Then 
then r cube equals to 12 centimeter whole cube we got r cube equals to 12 centimeter whole cube we know that if x power n equals to a then x equals to a power 1 by n then you can write this as r equals to 12 centimeter whole cube power 1 by 3 right since a power m whole power n a power m whole power n equals to a power m into n then 12 centimeter whole power m whole power n will be can be written as 3 into 1 by 3, 3 into 1 by 3 is 3 by 3. So you can write it as 12 centimeter power 3 by 3 which is equals to 12 centimeter power 1 equals to 12 centimeter. So therefore R equals to 12 centimeter that is the radius of the sphere is 12 centimeter. Therefore, the radius of the sphere is 12 centimeter. This completes the problem. So, we have seen a problem from combination of solids in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.